Hello. My biggest problem right now, Jill here, uh, is getting a quarter so I can get a shopping cart at Aldi and do my grocery shopping. I realized when I pulled in that I didn't have a freaking quarter anywhere on my person. And I think you can go into the store and ask them because I think that's happened to me before. So anyways, I think it's kind of funny. Uh, so I decided to go to Walmart first, which I really should have done because I got to do some birthday shopping and my ice cream would probably be sitting in the car if I went to Aldi first. So I'm going to, I'm going to manifest a freaking quarter. So yeah, that's the, that's really funny that I came up with that because that's like quote unquote, the least of my problems as a special needs parent. I'm going to use that label, uh, dealing with some really intense energies. I think we do often and we don't really have the time to note it and note ourselves as the observer and we get pulled into the trauma and the story of whatever's going on with our, our children, no matter what their age is. So realizing this myself, um, you know, I don't care how woke you are, how awake you are. Um, I think it's about the lived experience of certain situations that we're failing to articulate uh, completely because people aren't really ready or willing to talk about it because it ends up exposing some of our own shadow. I think that's what I've uh, come to experience is that when I do talk about it, there's aspects that I have to own as participating in the perpetuation of the creation of my interpretation of my experience. So being a parent, a special needs parent, I think what I've, the most profound thing that I've noted is how many times we have to take less than stellar answers, less than answers that are, she's going to Harvard. You know, we start settling really early. We start accepting that, you know, the system could only offer so much and I'm gonna be grateful for that. And I'm gonna to continue to seek services and supports beyond the scope of what the system can offer and supplement those. And I'm just constantly on mission of finding the Holy Grail for my child. And I think in our heads, we're always in that place to a degree. I think many of us realize that that's not sustainable and we just plop down and we're like, this is it, shut up about your perfect kid. And yeah, I've been to both ends and I feel like I'm always, there's always honestly going to be a piece of me that's got my my eyes open for what's coming down the pike holistically, medically, that can give a better quality of life for the future. I'd be stupid if I didn't say that. So I can't, you know, I can always live in the present moment, but there's, there's going to be a piece of me realistically that is going to be held in that. And I can step in and out of thinking about the future and worrying about it and whatnot and continually to hold that vision and back into the present moment, but it's there. And I think that um, it's hard to get away from. And again, what I was saying about the extremes that we end up accepting, it kind of just is like a frog heating up in a frying pan. You know, it's as you go along, you just get beaten down and you're willing to um, just accept and accept till you're, you're not able to supplement their services and you're not able to go out and um, seek new ways of, um, supporting them because you've got to take care of yourself at some level. And, you know, your back's always up against the wall. The world is basically against you. You're not in a favored spotlight in any way, nor are your children. And yes, there's way more awareness. And yes, I am so grateful for that. Grateful for it every day that I can feel comfortable talking, even talking about this. And it's a lot. It's a lot to talk about and put out there. But I'm going to keep talking about it because I feel like the gaps in our system are basically because people that are living it don't want to speak about it. And I think we should, but they're, we're afraid we're going to lose something. And because I have nothing left to lose, literally, I'm sure I do. And I know I do. Um, but I'm willing to take the risk and jump into this for y'all. Well, really for myself, because I, I don't think that I could walk on this planet without speaking these things out loud. We get pushed to the extreme. We end up acting in desperation. We're always chasing the dragon. Um, you know, we end up clinging more to material things and lower level frequency, sexuality, without integrating the whole beauty of the whole dance. So as a parent that's 
really got entangled in the trauma and whatnot and still cycles go on and on because our kids are subject to just extreme treatments that you know we ourselves would never imagine can't imagine from an early age the medical trauma don't tell me that that's not a thing that you you know force a kid to lay down on a table put a mask over their face and shove them in an mri tube from the time they're like before they're even verbal if that it stores trauma in the body i'm sorry but it does so that's the start and then they're not reacting in the way that the, the schedule says we should react and grow and develop these kids and so we're always off you know off the path and if you're you're not pretty centered personally that's going to pull you too it's going to pull you anyways to be honest um so watch observing 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 is what i'm doing and i do get pulled in to it but sometimes i can manage the energy without getting pulled into the actual uh story so working on it it's a, it's progress and i just applaud you all i applaud you all it's the ts alliance uh let's see their convention recently and I feel a little disconnected from that community, but God, I honor all the people in there and all the people I've met in these communities that are just doing the best they can to, to survive and to advocate for their kids in such just dense systems that are disconnected. And gosh, it's just, I'm going to talk about it because we need the light to be shed on the whole freaking thing. I love you.